Augmenting units is hard and expensive. However, I try to simplify it as much as possible in today's video. However, I do not talk about the nuances of augmenting simply because there are so many different exceptions and to include everything, I could talk about it for hours on end. So today's video is really just a condensed version of how to augment and how augmenting works, as well as an example of me affixing a 5 augment armor and spending a lot of my Masetta. If you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my super simplified guides or any of my other PSO2 content. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. Hello everyone, today we're finally going to be talking about affixing your units. And a disclaimer out there, affixing your units can get very, very expensive very, very quickly. Especially if you're a melee user, currently a lot of the melee stuff is extremely, extremely expensive and I would advise most players against affixing right now, unless you're planning to go full defense or if you're a ranged character or a tech user. For those classes, you can still keep your costs relatively low and have a pretty decent set of armor. However, if you're a melee class like myself, you're going to need to make some compromises or you're going to need to pay a premium. So as you can see over here, this is my Circa Union set and my affixes on each piece is decent. So you can see here I've got Noble Might, Court Soul, Arx Max, Arx Fever, and Might 4. However, I want to improve my units a little bit. And what do I want to do is I actually want to make myself a little bit more tankier. As you can see here when I press F5 that my HP is currently 1071. I want to increase this to around 1200 and I also want to increase the PP stat to try to hit that magical 200. However, in order to do that, I will need to sacrifice some melee power and I'm ready to do that. And the reason for that is twofold. The first reason is because in order to buy Noble Might, it's, it's extremely, extremely expensive right now. And the second reason is because a lot of units which amplify melee power is very, very expensive because there's a high demand and there's not enough supply. So we're going to jump over to the second monitor to show you what exactly I'm changing from my current set. So over here, you can see I've got Quartz Soul, Arx Max, Arx Fever, Might 4, and Junk A. And this is the current base armor that I am wearing. The reason why I put Junk a over here is because Noble Might cannot be transferred onto other armors. It's basically junk when you try to affix. So thus I have to keep it as junk A. And over here you can see that I have four different fodder pieces. You can have up to five different fodder pieces. But depending on what affixes and how many affixes you want on your piece of armor will determine if you need to use more fodders or not. My rule of thumb is the more fodder pieces you use, the cheaper it will be. Because that way you have a lot more flexibility and you don't need that one perfect piece of fodder. So you can see over here, these are the stats that I want. I want to have Might 4, I want to have Doom Break 2, Arx Fever, Acto D Soul, as well as Noble Stamina. So I'll also leave in the description below a link to a second website which will probably help a lot of newcomers that don't know how to affix. And this is this website right here. So this website is another PSO2 affixing assistant. And this works in reverse of how the simulator works. The PSO2 affix simulator requires you to have some basic knowledge in order to use it because you need to plug in all the items in order to get what you want. In the very beginning, what's going to happen is when you add a panel, you'll just be greeted with this blank page and most people get confused and get scared because they don't know how to use it. So what you can do is you can start with the affixing assistant over here because this is a little bit easier to use if you know absolutely nothing about affix. So you simply go to this website, again link is in the description below, you click the little plus button and over here you can search whatever you want. So the affixing goal is whatever you want as your end game. The only problem with this is it uses the Japanese terminology and not the global terminology. So for example, Might 4 is going to be called Power 4. So you're going to need to put Power 4 over here. So now let's fill up all the different affixes that we had here before. So you can see that I had Might 4, I had Doom Break 2, Arx Fever. So we're going to type in Doom Break and right here Doom Break 2. And then we have Arx Fever, Arx Fever. And then we also wanted Acto D Soul as well as Noble Stamina. Unfortunately, on the Japanese servers, it's not called Acto D Soul. I believe it is called Act the Soul. So you have to put Act the Soul instead of Acto D Soul, like how the global server is. And then Noble Stamina. So now we can do Noble Stamina. 
And once you input all of this right here, it'll tell you the stats. And this is very, very nice because you can just take a quick look and see what stats are you gaining when you put all these affixes together. So this is what I'm planning to make. I will have 100 S attack. So S attack on the Japanese server is melee damage. R attack is range power and T is tech power. So don't worry too much about the terminology. It's just a Japanese server thing versus a global server thing. Then PP is exactly the same. I'll gain 14 PP, I'll gain 50 HP, and I'll gain five dex. So let's hop over to my other monitor just to see what stats I'm gaining and what stats I'm losing. So now we're back in the game. A lot of people are gonna start flipping out, right? Because it says right here that I have 175 melee power. And if you guys remember just now, it said I would only get 100. Am I sacrificing 75 melee power on this one unit just to gain 50 HP? No, it's not the case. The reason why my melee power here is actually plus 175 is because of this rare drop increase from Amduskia. So this melee power only works when I am in Amduskia. This is a crafted time skill. If you guys want me to talk about that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to cover time skills because time skills can give you quite a boost for those very specific dungeons that you're farming. However, my melee power is nowhere close to 175. Five. Look, I'm going to break it down to you right here. So I've got 30 melee power on Noble Might, 30 melee power on Court Soul, so that's 60. Got another 30 between Arx Max and Arx Fever, so that is 90. And then I've got Might 4 over here, which is plus another 35. So this is actually only plus 125 melee power. So technically, I only have 125 melee power, so I'm sacrificing 25 melee power for 50 HP on my armor, and I'm also gaining 3 additional PP. So hopefully you guys aren't confused yet, I hope you're still on the same page. Good? Alright, let's move on. So the next step on this website is you simply click affix. So by default, affix by upslotting will be ticked. You want to untick this because we're not going to be gambling with upslotting because there's so much RNG involved and you don't want to mess around with RNG because it can really screw you over. So you can see right here, it'll tell you exactly how to get every single piece. So right here, in order to get noble stamina, you simply buy a skill, which is add ability, HP and PP. I'll be showing you what this is on the global server. So don't worry, we'll take it one step at a time. Next one is act the soul, which is going to give me 30 melee power as well as 3 PP and over here it tells you all the different combinations in order to get act the soul so in my case I will be using a quartz soul as well as a full Vega soul in order to get act the soul however over here it shows you all the different combinations as well as all the different percentages on how to get act the soul okay then we've got arcs fever which is just Arx Fever by itself, and it'll have a 100% transfer rate. So all you need to do is have one piece of fodder with Arx Fever. As long as it has the same amount of slots as your current piece of armor, it'll be fine. Then over here, we've got Doom Break 2. In order to get Doom Break 2, here are all the different breakdowns on how to get Doom Break 2. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to need to get three pieces of Doom Break 2 with five slots in order to have an 80% chance to get it. And last but not least, is might 4. So over here there's a, all these different percentages on how to get might 4 and the way that I'm going to be getting it is I will be smashing together two might 4s in order to have a 60% chance in order to get might 4. And then I'm going to click confirm. Once I click confirm it's going to give me a list over here of what it recommends. However, don't always follow what they recommend. You can mess around with this. For example, a doom break 2 plus an arcs fever will be very very expensive. Let us hop over back in game and I'll show you how much this is going to cost. So we're opening the personal shop, we're going to go product search, and over here in the unspecified we're going to go units because we want units, and right here we're going to do five augments because we need five slots. So first of all we have Doom Break 2, and we want Arcs Fever, right? And then we're going to search by price, and look at that, that is 21 million for this one piece with Doom Break 2 and Arcs Fever. It is definitely not worth it. So you can see right here on Fodder 5, Doom Break 2 plus Arc Souls is not a good idea because that's going to cost you 21 million Masetta just for this one piece, which is definitely not worth your money. So what we can do is we can click on the Arc Fever and move that to another piece. So we're going to move it with the Quart Soul. So I'm very lucky that my main piece already has Quart Soul and Arc Fever. However, if you're making this from scratch, 
This is going to cost you an arm and a leg as well, and you may want to do Arc's Fever with Might 4 instead, or maybe just Arc's Fever by itself. So now we can see that, hey, we've got our main fodder, fodder 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now all you need to do is come back in the game and start searching up each piece and buying them one at a time. So for beginners out there which don't know anything about affixing, use this website over here. However, if you have the basic knowledge of affixing and you know what makes what, I personally still prefer using the affix simulator over here because to me, I feel like the interface is a little bit cleaner and a little bit more streamlined for me. However, I know a lot of people prefer using this website over here. Either way, I'll leave both of them down in the description below, but I'm gonna be using the simulator over here to show you exactly what I do. So my main piece over here has Quartz Soul, Arcs Max, Arcs Fever, Might, for as well as Noble Might, which is basically going to be trash. So what I need to do now is I need to buy Might 4 with 5 affixes. That's going to be fodder piece number 1. Next up for fodder pieces 2 and 3, I just need a 5 affix with Doom Break 2. And last but not least on fodder 4, I need Doom Break 2 with Eastern Soul or any of the Green Souls. So you can see here when I type in Soul and I scroll down here, you're going to notice that these are the green souls. So the TLDR in order to make the D souls, which are very strong souls at the moment, is basically all you need to do is have a green colored soul, so any of these over here, plus a blue colored soul, so any of these blue colored souls over here. So there's a lot of blue colored souls you can choose from. However, do keep in mind that the blue colored souls do have an affinity to certain stats. So for example, the quartz soul over here has an affinity to might, toughness, and spirit. So if you are increasing those stats, then you might want to use a quartz soul. You don't have to, but it will help if you're affixing, for example, might 3 to might 4. It'll give you that extra percentage to push you over so you're guaranteed a success. So now that we're done talking about all this, we're going to jump into the game and we're actually going to start buying all these pieces. So we are in my alliance hall right now and we're going to go to the personal shop over here and we're going to start product searching. Again, we need to go by units. We want to go by five affixes and this will be very expensive. Just keep that in mind because look, I'm going to look for Doom Break 2, right? So Doom, Doom Break 2, right? Five affixes, search by price. And each single piece right here is going to cost me 2.8 million meseta. And right here, you can see that, hey, this one has Eastern Soul. I needed Eastern Soul because it's a green colored soul in order to make my D soul. So I'm going to be buying this. So right here, I will purchase this. Yep. Send kudos, TYTY. Done. That's piece number one. Now I need two more pieces. So piece number two here. I'm going to buy this one again, another almost 3 million, send another TYTY. And finally, I need to buy one more Doom Break, and this is the next cheapest one. Purchase, yes. Send kudos, TYTY. Okay, so that is three out of the four fodder pieces, which is complete. Last, I need to search for a Might 4. So we're going to do Might, and then Might 4. And again, five affixes, search by price. And oh, this is hurting my soul. This will cost me 8 million meseta. You can try upslotting and crafting your own fodder. However, at the current state of the game, unless you're farming for everything, I don't recommend it because it does get very, very expensive very, very quickly. But, um, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, my soul, 8 million. Oh. But there we go, we have bought all four pieces of the fodder. However, remember where we talked about noble stamina earlier? Well, this is how you get noble stamina. You search HP, and right here, there is an augment HP and PP. There's a slash two, and there's a regular one. Slash two is very strong, but it's very expensive. So you can see here that this will give you elegant stamina, which gives you 70 HP and four PP, which is really, really nice, but it costs 38 million. So we're not gonna be buying that because we ain't that rich. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do HP again, and we're gonna be buying the cheap version, which is HP and PP right here. And this right here, 421,000, will give me Noble Stamina, which is HP plus 50 and PP plus 3. And the reason why we're going the HP route instead of the damage route is because of this. If we go to Affix Augment for Melee and PP, this one is for Noble Might, you're going to see that it cost 5.2 million for Noble Might, which gives you 3 PP and 30 melee damage. 
I am not paying 5.2 million for this. This is this is ridiculous. Way too expensive for my blood. So I am just going to go the cheap route. So again, I go HP. I go right here. Affix augment HP and PP and search by price. 421,000. This is more up my alley. I can buy this. And I realized that this guy actually has five of them. So I'm going to buy three because he's selling it at a much cheaper price than everyone else. And um, yeah, so I'm going to buy three of them. So uh, yes, boom. Now sign kudos, TYTY, right there. Okay. All right, now we're going to open up my inventory and you're going to see that I have all my fodder pieces. So this is fodder piece number one with might four and four random stats, right? The next piece is doom break two with Eastern soul. So Eastern soul is a green soul in order to make the D souls, right? Then over here, we've got doom break two with an Eastern soul. Again, I just got lucky. It was the cheapest one. So I'm more than happy to break up another Eastern soul. And here is my last piece, which is doom break two with four random stats again. And if we go to my inventory over here, I have an HP and PP, which will give me noble stamina. So I've got all the pieces available to me. And now we go to Monica. Remember, if it's Dudu, switch blocks. Do not trust Dudu. But in all seriousness, it really doesn't matter. Whoever you like more, go, go with them. I personally, I like Monica more. Hey, it's Monica. Okay, so Monica's my favorite. She's best girl, so she's going to help me right here. So we're going to click on affix augment right here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be affixing my legs. It doesn't really matter which one you're going to affix first because eventually you're going to affix all of them anyway. But in my case, I want to do the arms first. So I'm going to do the arms. Yes. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four, put all four fodders in, confirm. And right here, it'll ask you if you want to put noble stamina. Remember the item that I just bought? I'm going to be like, yes, I want to put noble stamina. You can see right here at the top, 100% noble stamina. Then right here, I want to put might four. I want to put acto D soul. I want to put arcs fever. And I want to put doom break two. So you'll notice here that, hey, Caro, there's some skills over here which have 100%, which are great. But you have some that are 60%, some are 70%, some are 80%. Don't worry about it. When you go to start affix augment over here, if you have success boosters, you can use a 40% or a 30% to increase your chances. I need to go and pick up a 40%. So I'll be right back. So now I've picked up my 40%. So you can see right here, augmentation aid 40%. Everything is 100% now. I click yes and boom, everything success. I have changed my stats of all my armors and we are good to go. And you can also see my HP has increased dramatically. I'm at 1,121 HP and my melee power is all right. You know, I didn't lose that much. So if we look at my armor right here, my melee power is decent. It's still 145. Remember my real melee stat, it's actually only plus 100. It is because I have this limited time buff, which is boosting my melee power. So don't be deceived. I don't actually have 145 melee power. This only applies when I am in Umduskia, which is the current ultimate mission, okay? So you can see that, hey, I got 50 HP now, I've got plus 14 PP, and my stats are relatively good right here. And so what I can do is I'll probably work on the rest of the pieces and do that for every piece, and thus I will have a lot of HP. However, I will be sacrificing a little bit of my melee power, but for more PP and more HP, which in my books is perfectly fine. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. I really hope it was helpful. This is actually a really tricky subject to explain. But when you've done it a couple of times, you will kind of just figure it out. Because in the beginning, it is really, really complicated, or at least it sounds really complicated. But once you sit down and actually try to affix your first item, then things just kind of click and they make sense. So when you are affixing your first piece of armor, take it slow. There's no rush. Take it slow. If you have any questions, ask your friends or ask me and just slowly work through it. OK, there's no rush. The last thing you want to do is to do a mistake and realize that, oh, I just burnt 10 million Meseta, 20 million Meseta on a piece of armor that I don't actually want. Anyway, hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome? For the heels that boost so